Why do Inuit and other indigenous peoples of the Arctic region not have blue eyes? In my last video on the origins and the reason for blue eyes, I detail how the largest blue-eyed populations are in Northern Europe, and I make the argument that one of the main drivers of this was probably the lack of light in winter months that meant that blue eyes were selected for over time, as blue eyes are more sensitive to light. I will link that video above for anyone who hasn't seen it, but I go into a little more detail. Now my theory and my argument on low light conditions and the evolution of blue eyes is a working one, and there are probably numerous other variables that went into this, and we know that Europe had a long tradition of blue eyes going back to at least the western hunter-gatherers. There is a problem however. Now a few people in my last video mentioned this in the comments, and I was aware of it but I wanted to make a separate video as well. If low light conditions were one of the main drivers for, for blue eyes evolving over time, why do Inuit and other related peoples in the Arctic region and the subarctic region, around places like Greenland, Alaska, Northern Canada and Northern Russia, why do they tend to have darker eyes? Now I should mention that there are some people in these regions that have lighter eyes, but the norm is more darker eyes. Now after all, in places that far north, there is even less light than parts of northern Europe in the winter time, to the point of the sun not even rising for months at a time. In Ukiavik in Alaska for instance, which is the northernmost community in the United States, sitting 330 miles or about 530 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. They have 67 days of continuous darkness between November 18th and January 23rd. On the flip side as well, they have around 80 days of uninterrupted daylight during the summer. It is home to the Anupiat people. Now why do these Arctic peoples tend to have dark eyes? Well these are snow goggles. They are a genius invention by the Inuit and other related peoples of the Arctic zone, such as the Yupik, who also live in parts of Alaska as well as the Russian Far East. The goggles are traditionally made from driftwood, but can be made from bone, walrus ivory, caribou antler or other materials. The workpiece is carved to fit the wearer's face, and one or more horizontal slits are carved through the front. The goggles fit tightly against the face so that the only light entering is through the slits, and soot is sometimes applied to the inside to help cut down on glare. The slits are made narrow not only to reduce the amount of light entering, but also to improve the visual acuity. These snow goggles were invented to prevent snow blindness, a painful eye condition caused by exposure to high levels of ultraviolet rays. So in environments around the Arctic Circle, which are obviously largely made up of vast tundras that are usually covered with snow and ice, it is obviously a highly reflective environment. So the indigenous people of these lands built these snow goggles to protect their eyes from too much light exposure. So what's the point some of you may be asking? Well, as I noted in my last video, people with lighter eyes, people with blue eyes, tend to be more sensitive to light in general, and therefore in a region like the Arctic region, it makes sense that people with lighter eyes weren't selected for over time, as they aren't really well suited to the environment. Now there obviously is other factors involved here, genetic history etc, but if we look at light as one factor, and for me that is still one factor, one driver of eye colour in general, it would make sense that people in the Arctic region have darker eyes, because obviously it protects them more from the elements. Obviously even with darker eyes, people in the Arctic regions had to design their own snow goggles, basically a version of sunglasses, which is quite cool to think, um, to protect their eyes from, from sun, the reflection of sun, against all the snow and the ice. Thus, blue eyes are common in Northern Europe probably, in part at least, along with genetic history and other elements, because it sits within a sort of Goldilocks zone. It has low levels of light in the winter months, but has a much greener and less reflective environment than the Arctic zone, and thus blue eyes are much better suited to this climate and landscape. I should quickly note as well that one of the main theories is to why Inuit populations have darker skin than many Europeans at similar latitudes is because they have a diet that is relatively rich in vitamin D from fish and marine mammals, and thus vitamin D production from sun exposure to their skin is less crucial than for Europeans at similar latitudes. When did blue eyes first develop however, and what are the other theories about the evolution of them? To find out, please click here and watch the first part of this series. Thanks for watching, if you would like to support this channel through Patreon, through my merch or any other means through buymeacoffee.com, all the links will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell and tell your friends and family about this channel, and I'll see you next time.